Certificate <laughs> scheme's not unlike the Australian Mandatory Renewable Energy Target. Oh, it's only available to this side, I'm afraid. Kids these days, oh. no respect! <laughs> Yes, <laughs> the things they do for love. Yes! The things we do for love, 10 cc. <laughs> yes. Okay, we are going coalition government. Coalition government, coalition government adopted a great deal of the policies, the clean energy oh. sector have been arguing for over many years. <laughs> In February, <laughs> the coalition government dun, 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 surprised the sector with its oh. announcement. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, it's a dun, 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 Go for it, Mayor. Here comes your man. Oh, here comes your man. Oh, here comes your man by the pixies. Oh. Oh. Well done. Well done. Well done. Wes, you'll be singing for Miff and Hamish, and you'll be taking your lyrics from Sea Urchin Development, Cellular and Molecular Aspects by Louis W. Stearns. Uh, that's your book. Those are your songs. Don't show your teammates. Ladies and gentlemen, Wes Carr. Uh, song one, please. Sea urchin is never an animal to evoke much interest attention from society. Oh. Its eggs may on occasion find their way to oh, the table oh, in some gourmet speciality. Yes, Hamish. I believe it's Wonderwall by Oasis. Oh, yes! yes. 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 Well done! It's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> I only know nine songs and three of them have been on tonight's show. <laughs> <laughs> Next song, please, Wes. The rate of development, particularly of cleavage. Oh. Is strongly temperature sensitive in many species. It is desirable to culture embryos at a constant. Go on, Amish, you know you want to. Just a young guy called Michael Jackson saying it doesn't matter if you're black or white. Yeah. Oh! Yes, I never thought I'd say this without a sarcastic tone in my voice, but you could be the difference between winning and losing for your team. In a good way, though. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> no. Why does this not happen when you're on my team? There's a few websites I place bets on, but apart from that, I just sometimes I don't have the answers. I don't have the answers. Final song, oh, please, Wes. What's that? The Golden Hand's back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Don't get arrogant. Especially don't call your, your buzzer hand the Golden Hand. <laughs> These experiments show that there are reserve pools, probably large ones of proteins for cilia production presents in the cells of the embryo. Oh, 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 oh. Since the oh, oh, oh. oh, cilia oh, form with oh, the protein synthesis, oh, it's really oh, impressed oh, the reserve pools probably oh, contain all types of. <laughs> I bust it with my brain, because that's where all the knowledge is. <laughs> So I thought I'd give that the joy. Oh. It's single ladies, Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Yeah. And more importantly, Hamish Blake. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was amazing. And yes. more importantly, the golden hand. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can't do the whole show as a nude Kermit. That's not going to work. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are oh, dead set oh. even. Alan, Jim, Geraldine are on 11 points. Miff, Wes, Hamish are also on 11 points. <laughs> Hands on your buzzers. One point for a correct answer, one point off for a wrong answer. <clears throat> your questions start now. Natalie Bassingthwaite left which band in two... Yes? Rogue Traders. Yes, it is. Yes. Jim oh. Keyes is Rogue Traders. <laughs> We've got Hamish, we've got Jim. <laughs> Happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Time magazine referred to A.R. Rahman, who won an Oscar for the score of Slumdog Millionaire, as the what? Yes? Golden Hand has pressed it and he has done his job. <laughs> <laughs> Composer. Mm -hmm. He's a composer of our generation, or no? no. He's, he was referred to as the Watt of Madras. It was Mozart. Oh. It was the Mozart. Oh. Russell. Well, the Golden Hand is a wall at the yeah. moment. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not yet. Golden Hand. <laughs> Don't jump off just yet. Which stringed instrument may include a four pillar in its design? What? Oh. A what? A four pillar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know that in, uh, it... 
Are you sure? OK. Harp? <laughs> yes, it's a harp. Oh! Exorcist, <laughs> I am going to give you a hell of a ride tonight, guys. <laughs> Someone's been a very good boy. <laughs> Back to my golden hand. Uh, listen to this, name the song. <laughs> yep, Viva 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 Next question. The full title of the 2004 documentary about troubled recording of the album St Anger was Metallica. Yes. Some, some kind, kind of, of monster. monster. Yes, some kind of monster. <laughs> In the Rolling Stones song, Tuesday is the nondescript <laughs> name. Yes. Oh, Ruby Tuesday. Ruby, Ruby Tuesday, yeah. Yes. Ruby attached Tuesday. to which girl? Oh, Ruby. Oh, oh, Ruby. Oh, OK. Which weekday in a Bengals song title is Manic? Oh, Monday. Monday. Yes. According to the Easy Beats, on Monday I'll have... Oh, Friday on my mind. Friday. Yes. Oh, come yes. on. And your final question... In the Cure song by Friday, I'm in what? Love. Friday, I'm in love. Yes. 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 <laughs> that means at the end of the show, the final scores are Miff, Wes, Hamish ended up on 14 points, but were just edged out. Alan, Jim, Geraldine ended up on 15 oh. points. all our guests for tonight. <laughs> Jim Keyes, <laughs> Geraldine Quinn, Wes Carr and Hamish Blake. Well done. <laughs> and of course our two team captains, Alan Bro and Mick Warhurst. <laughs> we leave you with a live performance from Geraldine Quinn and a song she has written just for tonight's show. Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia. on the telly Boy, it feels like coming home They are my extended family When I'm on my own Adam Hills is like my father Alan's like my uncle bro Then there's Spunky Miff The most stylish sister A girl could want to know Well, they're so nice, so clever Funny and so chic Then there's that other guy You know the one He's on every other week He's like your second or third cousin Who you haven't seen for years You fancy him, but he's your kin So it's hot, but kind of weird <laughs> Without stubble, he looks 17 I'm sure you know his name That cheeky guy with the boyish smile The one not dating me Usually doesn't know a lot about who sings what, but look at that sweet face. Well, he resembles Matthew Broderick, hung over and unshaved. He's at the height of fame. Oh bugger, what's his name? You know, that guy not dating Megan Gale. Well, I might steal a kiss if I can get him 